all the way. Oh! Oh yeah! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are out doing another little fishing adventure, but we're gonna be putting a new lure to the test for myself. Uh, it is gonna be the Guggen Contender. I have yet to kind of get out and really fish this thing thoroughly. Uh, and really make a video going over the specifics of this lure. So I wanted to do that today. So this is going to be Guggen Squad and Catch Co's collaboration swim bait. Uh, it comes in two different sizes. We are rocking the seven inch today. Uh, it is a three segment slow sinking swim bait. Comes in at about seven inches, one and three quarter ounce. Uh, like I said, there are two sizes. They're going to be a size a little bit smaller than this. I believe it's five inches. So just to give you a better idea of this lure, uh, once again, it is going to be a three segment swim bait slow sinking. It's going to have a really soft tail. I picked it up in two different colors. We got the the bass color and we got the bluegill color we'll probably be tossing uh, the bass mostly today just because the water is a little bit more stained it is going to be a little bit darker and uh, it is kind of that pre-spawn season so the bass might be kind of hugging up on the walls starting to fight for bed so i think this would be a real good way to kind of entice the bite so the paint job on these baits are going to be really really cool they are going to be like a matte finish but it's going to be like a very silicone soft feel to it and the reason behind that is they want it to hold up longer and kind of uh, withstand a lot more attacks from bass uh, you're going to get a lot of big bass biting these things and kind of tearing on them with their lips so they wanted to design a paint job that would uh, allow bass to kind of target these baits and not really ruin the paint job you know after the first few fish uh, another really cool design that they have is the 360 degree little swivel hooks a uh, really good feature to have in big swim baits you know you make that contact uh, and you keep that contact with the fish pretty much the entire time once you get it going um, so we'll be tossing this bad boy out there real quick we got it on my swim bait rod so enough talking let's go and get tossing talk more about on the water All right, guys, we're going to be throwing this Guggen Contender on my Mojo Bassin swim bait rod. This is going to be a one to four ounce pull. Uh, we have the Shimano Tranks on here. This is going to be kind of the heavy duty swim bait reel for Shimano. It's going to have 13 pounds of drags and a full aluminum body so that way it doesn't have any uh, kind of warping or bending in the reel when we set the hook or if we catch anything really big. Once again, this is a one and three quarter ounce bait, so you are going to want something a little bit heavier and a little bit meatier. Uh, we got 20 pound fluoro on there. This is the Guggen fluoro. So we're keeping it Guggen today. We'll start fishing these branches and talk about how we're fishing right now. All right, guys, how we're tossing this uh, bait is just, we're gonna throw it out there and it is a slow sinking bait. So we don't want to get it too far out there. Oops, don't have enough line on my freaking rock. So we toss this one out there and we're just gonna go ahead and hit it with little slow half rotations on the reel. And what this do is it'll create a twitching motion in the bait where it just kind of creates like an S and uh, hopefully it'll entice the bite, get something coming up and saying, what the heck are you doing? So you can see, there it goes, swimming real crazy like. All right guys, we got this little brush line right here. I'm gonna try to get up tight with it and see if there might be anything kind of hugging up in there because it is that pre-spawned kind of season. And uh, once again, we're just doing this little half rotation. And what you'll see is it'll either get the bait kind of turning all the way. Oh! baby on the contender Woo! Nice. oh I knew it baby I said this tree line right here looks like there might be a pig in it Bro. sticking pigs boy all right guys nailed a pig on the Guggen contender I just saw that brush line I said hey we got to get up in there start slow working this thing probably like a solid three or four pound bass Smoking that seven inch contender in that bass color. Stuck it completely in the jaw. It was going anywhere. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Let's go ahead and get it back in the water though. One hell of a fish. Fought really good. All right, guys, once again, just slow rolling that Guggen contender right outside the brush line. I just had a good feeling about it. Got some lay downs, but we got some deep, clear water. And uh, usually, like I said, during the pre-spawn this time of the year, fish will kind of stack up areas, try to find beds where they kind of want to fight and uh, kind of just stay there for their spawn season. And when you get that bass pattern in there or other kind of big glide baits, weird moving baits like this, uh, it just definitely entices the fish to, to kind of reaction uh, strike and not even necessarily try to eat the fish, but just kind of 
get kind of territorial with it. So uh, it could be a combination of both. It is, like I said, that pre-spawn, so they could be feeding up for that spawn time, but snagged one, we're just gonna keep it going, keep doing that slow roll technique. We're just doing half rotations. And uh, you'll see every time we do a half rotation, the bait kind of jerks back and forth, changes direction. And that direction change is what really gets the bass, you know, wondering, is that a dying fish? Is that thing trying to get aggressive with me? And uh, that's when you get these things bit. So we're gonna keep it going, see if we can get a few more. fishing this tree line we're gonna kind of cheat it get from underneath so there's a few different ways you can fish this contender one thing I like to do with big swim baits is I'll find grass stumps and stuff like this and just toss right outside them just kind of flip it pitch it like a jig something like that and you can kind of go slow or you can go one two three kind of go fast with it you can even rock it completely fast all those different styles will kind of work differently on the time of the season and the type of fish you're kind of targeting. I mean, if you're fishing like peacock bass, you get some moving, some fast moving motion from them. It's definitely going to entice them to get a little bit more. Uh, with bass, largemouth bass and stuff like that, you're going to want more of like a slow shake, maybe uh, some quick motions every now and again, just to get them kind of acting uh, suspicious about the fish and just kind of almost getting territorial with it. The more territorial they get, the more they feel like that bass is kind of flashing and trying to get big body with them. The uh, more likely you are to get a bite because a lot of times these bass aren't necessarily trying to eat these fish i mean a lot of times they are but not always sometimes they're just trying to attack it that last fish was definitely trying to eat it based on its size this is what i usually do just like i said just find tree lines and other areas you can pitch us out in the open though don't be afraid to fish it in any old area but you can see you can just kind of flip it like that let it sink a little bit about two, three seconds. And then I'll start popping. I usually like to try to get my rod at an angle, slight angle, not completely uh, sideways, but just to kind of tilt, helps the line stay tight. You just want to keep your rod tip down so that way when you do get a bite, you can reel down and set the hook. All right, guys, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the retrieval and how uh, slack in the line can kind of cause you some issues. So if you keep your rod tip straight, completely straight, sometimes uh, when you're retrieving this thing, you'll get slack in the line. So what happens is the lure kind of gets sideways with you and it just keeps pulling the same direction. Uh, this is a multi-segment swim bait once again, so the head kind of uh, drives the body and gets that S motion. It's not going to be that pivotal uh, motion like a glide bait, so that slack in the line is not going to help your bait. You want to keep it uh, tight and consistent. So adding that slight angle, that slight you know left or right, uh, while still pointing downward, is going to give you the tension you need to keep this bait moving in a complete S motion and keep it you know moving how it's supposed to. Uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and lay that down real quick. Make sure you guys are using this properly because I know sometimes uh, things do weird things and you don't really know why they're doing them. So just wanted to go ahead and leave you guys that information. Uh, another really cool thing I didn't talk about earlier: this bait's got rattles in it. Listen to that. Got a knocker didn't talk about that earlier 360 hooks matte paint job awesome eyes soft tail and a knocker what a cool swim bait let's keep it going though everybody so that is going to do it for a little adventure out on the water today uh, once again thank you everyone for watching uh, I tried to leave as much information as far as how to use the lure and uh, as far as the techniques that I prefer to use uh, but uh, if you guys have any questions for me please let me know in the comments I'm always going to try to get back to you guys and uh, let you know anything that I can and uh, try to answer those questions as quickly as possible um, as far as the good contender goes this was our first time getting out and testing it and uh, I really like the lure. I'm going to continue to be using it throughout the entire spawn season. So you will be seeing a lot more of this lure as well as a few other swim baits that I will be pulling out uh, because it is kind of swim bait season. And uh, honestly, this year, I think I'm going to be going pretty big and going for the big hammers. Uh, now that we got that swim bait set up, compliments of our buddy Eddie. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have any questions, once again, let me know in the comments. But we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.